Welcome to a new edition of the famous interviews with Joe Domino. On this episode, we talk with money yogi of the well-paid expert, Kathleen Selmans. This yogi teaches experts how to add a new six-figure income stream through digital products. She spends most of her time helping time-strapped digital entrepreneurs, speakers, coaches, and freelancers triple their income through a strategic approach to selling their digital products. When she's not at her desk, you can find her on her yoga mat, exploring her world with her husband and two kids at the local farmer's market, or just simply enjoying the pleasures of living. Enjoy this interview. Cool. And thanks for taking a minute out today. Yeah, thank you. So before we get into your life as a money yogi, um, I, I want to know, <laughs> yeah, how, how did you I need that t-shirt that says that. <laughs> Do you really? Good. Well, that was kind of, that, that, that's kind of what I deduced from everything. So <laughs> before we get into your life and what you do exactly, I want to know, the last couple of years was quite a thing with COVID, the two years plus. How did you survive COVID and how did it change the way that you live your life and conduct business now that the world's kind of waking up? Wow, that's such a good question. I bet you get a lot of really good responses when you lead with that. Um, it's you also, interesting, yeah. Yeah, I I find that I, I can really tell how a conversation is going to go if somebody's like, bah, 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 the vaccines are the problem. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'm... Um, uh, but anyway, so how right. <laughs> how I survived <laughs> COVID was um, I so I live in Arizona where most people didn't take it very seriously, and um, so I cocooned with my young family. Um, we pulled my my the preschool clothes and said we'll we'll keep it the same price, but we'll do it on Zoom. The time my kid was four, I was like, there's no need for a four year old to learn how to be on Zoom. Um, and we, so my husband's a stay-at-home dad, and so we just really did our best to structure our days. I bought really expensive noise-canceling headphones. I called them Mommy's Working. Um, and you could, like, see they were, like, really big ones. You could see them. So if you saw, if, and so for my kids, if they saw that, then um, then I would, um, then they, they'd know not to come in my office. But I was pretty, like, flexible with them coming in. Um, and trying to get a lot of a lot of work done in the um, downbeats, the natural downbeats of the day with small kids at home, everyone at home, and um, and then pivoting to offering virtual video um, marketing services. So I pivoted an offer as well, um, and then the second I was able to get vaccinated, I did, and <laughs> and then. Um, really appreciated being able to send my kids back to school. It felt like my house got bigger. Um, and I was able to um, basically use the rhythm of the day. But the reminder for me is that now, because I have the the school day, I am really, really conscious to be done when they get home. So let's get to what you do for a living. And I'm going to put you in front of a bunch of third graders at a career day. And one of the kids is going to look up at you and say, what do you do for a living? How do you answer that child? I teach people how to make money on the Internet. When you were in the third grade, what was your vision for your life? What did you want to be when you grew up? Yeah, isn't that funny? I work, I make my living on something that did not exist when I started my schooling. Um, I think about that uh, every couple of months, how <laughs> like, amazing it is. Um, and what I wanted to do when I was a little kid, you know, aside from like the ballerina thing, um, <laughs> I think every, every elementary school kid wants to be a ballerina or a firefighter, but what I wanted to do was write. All I ever wanted to do was write. With the way your life is right now with what you're doing, are you happy with how everything turned out? Yes, I am. So who's your hero? Who's a role model? someone that you've consistently looked up to in your life? You know, pe pe my parents, honestly, um, and in a different way than they probably intended. Um, they both died relatively young. My dad got to do, got to work in state, it, like for the state, but um, in, in a p position that like seemed tailor-made for him. Um, my mom died trying to get, um, get approved for medical leave. And so, like, both ends of the spectrum. Like, the career fulfillment is important, but also 
nothing is guaranteed. So um, I don't want I don't want to live my life trying to get out of how I'm spending my days. So in your excuse me, in your capacity of helping people make money on mm-hmm. the internet, you're obviously an expert at this, and there's obviously always misconceptions about particular fields and things that happen out there. What's the co- most common misperception about making money on the internet? What's the one hurdle people really have to get over overwhelmingly, get to a point where they understand that they can make revenue on the internet? That passive income is a misnomer. Uh, there's hardly anything passive about it, but that leverage is possible. So if you can meet anybody alive on the planet right now and spend some time with them, who would it be? Who would you love to meet? Oh, what a great – you have the best questions. Um, well, thank you. <laughs> who would I want to meet? Um, maybe maybe Michelle Obama. That's one of the top answers for sure. <laughs> if I could take a poll, that's it. Um, so every day you wake up, you know, when when the alarm clock goes off for whatever way that we wake up, wake up the rooster mm-hmm. crows, you know, we right. all have these motivating forces that drive us in our lives to do the things that we want to do through the day. What's the motivating driving force for you that makes you do your work and live your life? My children. Though I believe in legacy and not in the, like, fancy watch to leave behind or whatever, but show like it, I believe it's my responsibility to show my kids what it's like to live a life you would like, live a life you don't want to retire from, to carve your own path, um, to work from home, but actually get stuff done, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. So let's take that notion and flip it to the end of the day, when you get to the proverbial end of the day and look back, how do you quantify a really good day? I keep a, a I keep a really, really short to-do list. Um, I try to only have one thing on my to-do list uh, in that if I, can, if I can do that one thing, if I can get that one thing done, I can look back and say, yeah, today was a productive day. On my best days, I can do it. On my worst days, I have five things on my list, and then I get three done, and I think I'm a failure. (laughs) So what has been one of the best responses you've ever gotten from a client? I didn't believe this would work, but I trusted you, and now it's working. So, you know, in this, making money on the Internet is a relatively modern thing. I think, I mean, yeah. To a certain degree. It's something that Absolutely. has emerged, you know. So how how does one become an expert in that? How does one become versed in, in that to, to help others get there? How did this happen for you? Oh, it's a long way, for sure. I've been at this for a decade, um, more, more than a decade. Um, and I've tried just about every avenue. You know, I've done the agency route. I've done the freelancer route. I've done, um, and now I'm leveraging all that ex- expertise into helping other people build things that build marketing me- mechanisms that actually still make them turn a profit at the end of the day. Um, and so, trial and error, and doing things the hard way. I think sometimes I think that's the <laughs> Sadly, the the best way to learn. Well, that's really the entrepreneur spirit. I think a lot of people are afraid of failure, but if you really are going out there and trying to all the business, the more I talk to and experience the business mind, because I'm more on the art creative side of things. I mean, I I can do the business, but I I, I think there's blocks for people where they just don't want to fail or it's too uncomfortable, and I think that's the thing that can kind of separate people you know, into one group or the other is their propensity and their willingness to say, you know what, I'm going to fall and I'm going to learn from it, but you you move forward. Right, right. And, you know, and creators are fun. Like creators and artists are really fun because they they want and they, to a certain extent, expect their art to sell itself. Um, and... I can get them close. I can, you know, it, there, it depends on on how they want to 
how they want to do it. But they're, it's very hard to sell your yourself. And even if you don't consider yourself an artist, if you're a creator, if you're a creative, if you're a designer or something, it is really hard to get out there because you think that sales has to be like, hello, I am the best thing in the world and you should buy from me, you know? <laughs> yeah, for sure. So let's kind of take a look at your life here, and, and I'm, I'm going to ask you this. If you have a dream tonight, you run into the 20-year-old version of yourself, and you could give that version of you a piece of advice based on the wisdom you've gained throughout your life, the roads that you've been down, what would you tell your young version? Don't pivot too soon. Give it a shot. <laughs> I think my 20-year-old self would be like, what? Okay, whatever. <laughs> but, but I get it. I for sure get it. So everyone out there has a perception of you, your family, your friends, your clients, but ultimately you live your life. You're in control of your life. What's your perception of you? Who do you think you are? I think I'm just like anybody else. I'm someone who shows up and um, does the best I can with what I have. So if anyone out there wants to learn more about you, hire you, anything related to your world, where is the best place for them to go? Thewellpaidexpert.com. Kathleen, thank you for opening up. Thanks for talking about your world for a little bit. Good luck. Thank you. Especially with the new year. I really appreciate it. You too. Thanks for tuning in to another famous interview with Joe Domino, where we cover the world of art, literature, business, spirituality, music, and more from around the globe. If you want to hear more interviews, visit the Famous Interviews with Joe Domino channel on YouTube. You can also find us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Thanks again for listening, and until next time. 